I'm not asking for a lot out of you. I'm not asking for perfect faith. Truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you'll say to this mountain, move from here to there and it'll move and nothing will be impossible to you. He's not talking about literally changing topography. He's simply saying life is full of insurmountable things and you will never have the power to alter those things. But if you have the faith of the size of a grain of mustard, that is the smallest seed used in agriculture in Israel, tiny, tiny seed. You know, there's a lot of ways to preach that. I've heard people say, you need to have more faith. You need to have your faith get up to the point of a grain of mustard seed. That isn't the point. The point is you've got that much already. Come on, that's minimum. The Lord is not expecting you to be some person of great faith, magnificent faith, all-pervasive faith, or you, <laughs> you'd have a hard time getting going in your Christian life, wouldn't you? All, all it takes is the faith of a grain of mustard seed. And you know who the model of that is? The Father. The Father. The miracle was done on the basis of the Father's faith. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. I believe that I'm, my, my faith is mixed with doubt. I want more faith. Run to the rescue of my weak faith. Help my unbelief. That was sufficient faith. Our Lord shows these men that a new believer who hadn't been with Jesus at all, who had a very beginning faith, if he exercised that faith, had enough faith to bring down the power of God. I mean, it's a hard lesson to learn if you're a disciple and you've been around Jesus for two and a half years or so and He's selling, telling you, if you could just be like this stranger who's never walked with Me or talked with Me before. You need to exercise only the simplest faith. That's the grace of God. But persistently, like Luke 11 and Luke 18, remember the stories of prayerful persistence? You have not, James says, because what? You ask not. If you have the faith of a grain of mustard seed and you take that faith on the highway of prayer into the power of God, you will see God do mighty things. Listen, Jesus could have let them succeed without persistent faith. He could have let them succeed without prayer. He could have let them succeed thinking they could do it on their own. That would be a bad lesson, wouldn't it? He could have made them think prayer wasn't really necessary. And so he was gone and the incident happens and he says, you're going to have to learn that you're going to depend on me even when I'm not here and the way you demonstrate that dependence and that trust and that faith is through prayer. So we're not learning here how to cast out demons. We're not learning here how to change the earth's surface if we believe strongly enough. We're learning here how a very small amount of struggling faith can draw us into God dependently, trustingly, and cause God's power to be released to do His will even through our lives. It's an incredible lesson for those of us who live by faith.